No. Look, I'm the one that. What do you mean, ugh? I can't stand bugs. I can't stand dead. <laughs> I don't even want to look at it. Wipe, please. Get a wipe. Wipe this area down. I'm going to throw it away in the trash. Way to F over there. Is that trash bag? Yeah. Okay. Adventure. This is a no. We'll never forget this camping trip. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go right now. Alright, we just woke up. This is our this is our last full day here at KOA Santa Margarita. Last night was crazy because uh we ran into a few critters last night and uh yeah. We're gonna go back and make some breakfast. Good morning. So this is our last full day here at KOA Santa Margarita. We're gonna have our breakfast right now. Of course, leftovers. Um, the chicken, the Korean pancake, got some blueberries. And, and, um, and creepy I'm going to come. We got some coffee, hot water for mommy. I'm gonna share this plate. Share this thing of blueberries. And he said the blueberries. I'm gonna tell the boys about what happened last night too. Not that I, I didn't already. There was definitely a critter last night that had the appearance of a fox. Uh -huh, that they eating one, one fish. They eat, trying to eat all the fish off the, the leftover fish on the fish bone. Ate it dry, so it's like, see, that's definitely our fault. We should be not leaving our stuff out at night time. And you should to bring them in that tent. I mean, for some reason, I thought, you know, hey, it's an enclosed campground. Last year, it was more like that. You know, there are critters, there's wildlife, deer. Um, I saw a lizard yesterday. Um, definitely squirrels. And definitely a fox-like or a mongoose-like creature, as you saw what happened last night on my trip to the to the restroom but yeah we're just gonna eat <laughs> probably go back in the tent and chill but today we're gonna be packing up a lot of stuff getting ready because we don't want to be too late tomorrow because packing is the hardest part and then driving hopefully we ate enough of the food that it won't be as squished but yeah this is our breakfast do you do me a favor blow out that candle blow it out you ready big breath Okay, ready? Well, hey, oh. Pull it out, Jesse. Dashie. Hey, Jess. <laughs> How do you know? Jonas, try, can she you? tried to help him out, Jonas. Why don't you help him, Jonas? You have to stand up. Okay, blow it. Okay. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Jonas, it. you do it. He doesn't want to do it. I want to do it. Okay, blow it out. Blow it out. Her belly. Her hair belly is on. On your TV top. You're still being nice. Cook it. <laughs> Where is it going? There's only one place to... Jesse, okay. Tasha, aim for the fire and blow. Daddy, can you come? Just aim for the fire and blow Cook really fa fire fast. And blow at the fire. Then, almost. Oh, almost. Try again. Again. Tashi. No. Above. Go up and down. Go up. Oh okay. my gosh, Jesse. You want help from Honga? Okay, okay, go ahead, Jonas. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Come on. <laughs> you know thing. how. Oh, you did it. All right, we are back in the tent. It's about 9 a.m. And we're just kind of chilling before it gets super hot. Um. Here's an inside look at our 
11 person tent at the vestibule on the other side of this doorway thing. That's where we're keeping all of our other stuff. Um, yes, you are. This is our last day here, as I explained earlier. And we're expecting a four hour drive up back home to Sonoma County. And then it's back to regular life. Who wants the baby drinking milk? I'm definitely not looking forward to regular life this year. Last year, I felt like I had a long enough break. I had a long enough break to uh, enjoy coming back to regular life. But this week, or this year, it's just not long enough. And, uh... Definitely feeling it. Um, the hardest thing that I could see that's going to happen is packing up everything. The issue with this campground is that it's all dirt, which means it's all dusty everywhere. And it's just going to be on all of our tents, all of our tarps. There's no amount of wiping that'll get it off. As we're here, right, you know, if we right, ever go right. to a big park, maybe we could start dusting it off and wiping it. But that's a well, whole mommy thing. Can have a ride. Um, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna take a quick little mommy, nap please, here, mommy. maybe. Boys woke up at five, so they they might take a nap. Mommy said Wake up, maybe, hopefully, and then um, if they don't sleep, it's fine. And we're gonna eat lunch, then go. We am going to check out some of the other spots first and then go swimming. Um, Jonas wanted to check out the emu spot, but the emus are dead because they got old. But they said they might have peacocks there sometimes. So we'll go to that area first, then go to the swimming pool. Maybe get some ice cream. Stop. I can't say that in front of them. Maybe, maybe get some ice cream. Not and then uh, we'll have some out there by the pool. The, the, you know, as usual, all campgrounds, the people are awesome. People are, you rarely run into a-holes, right? Just jerks who think they own everything or people who think that, oh, I paid so much to be here. I deserve to be respected in a certain, no, everyone's always cool at campgrounds. You basically uh, get a community of really cool people. Everyone's relaxing. They're on their vacation too. Drinking, having fun, kids are in the pool. So Jonas and Jesse are gonna do some more swim practice. And the, the exciting part is when we get back home, they're gonna go into swim class. Now I have a feeling Jonas is going to advance much further than he ever thought. And also Jesse, because we got a little practice. And Livia was saying that, you know, we have a swimming pool in our place. It's like a it's a community pool. And um she was saying that maybe we should get the key for that gate. We might. And then the thing is up there, it's, it's cold most of the time, but in the summertime, it's definitely hot. So it's a good time to get into the pool. Oh, well, look, we decided to join Mr. Cuddlebug. Are you excited for the pool? Are you excited for the peacocks? Are you excited for swim class? You excited for parkour class? We're going to also take him to parkour class soon. I think we might have to figure out <laughs> How to the, the budget for that first because we kind of sp spent a little over for different stuff this year. So, Plus number three is coming out. So. But all necessary. Number three is and um, in, in a few videos... Probably edit this out, but if not, in a few videos, I will be, I will be revealing um, the next chapter of the Suck family, if it pans out in the way that it looks like it's gonna pan out. But I'll keep everyone updated. We're kind of excited for it. But yeah, new life means new changes and different things. So. 
Anyways. Am I going to bring the bandaid in the swimming pool? Probably not. If you leave it on, then it'll probably be healed by the time we go there, okay? And then that's what we're going to do. I'll update you guys later. All right, so, so much for a morning chill down nap. We had a whole bunch of crows just come right up to our tent thinking that there was no one there. I think that the trash bag isn't tight enough and they're about to just swarm it. Yeah, they're waiting for us. They're still looking at us. Um, Are we going to be awake and go to the dream book? Scared him with this. I'll just get them some air so they can go away. Let's not drop them. Go red bag of Careful, Jonas. Keep going. Hey, there's uh, a lot of bugs. Okay. Jonas and Jesse got bit up real bad. Come on. What? You don't swat the bugs away, Jesse. You just kind of let them eat you. Come on. trying to finish all of our stuff in our cooler which we're doing a really good job in we had three things of cooler things that we brought and now we're almost about to put them all into one which means a little more leg space for the boys in the back and possibly Livia so today we're having the pop and we boiled it extra long because as you saw some animal was trying to gnaw at it, and then they were like, you know what, forget it. They didn't want any of it. I don't know why. It's interesting, right? Well, it's dried grains. They're not going to eat that. Yeah. And so we boiled it extra long, washed it extra before, and then and we having make a noodles. Fire. Are these spicy, Jesse? No. Hey, it's yummy. <laughs> okay. And then I we're having the seaweed, kim, and that's our lunch. It's a pretty good lunch. I mean seaweed. And then the boys are eating there, and then um, Livia and I were just and eating. Seaweed. We're eating Two. ours right there. Mm -hmm. See how burned I am? You see my flab, my 40 year old body? It's all good. But you see, you see this? Oh my gosh. I put on a lot yesterday, too. And I don't think you put on enough. I'm just eating it from the um, cast iron skillet. Comment below if, if you think it's okay to uh, eat ramen from a cast iron skillet. Yeah. Why we eat this? What are you doing? Because you don't want to chew, uh, I know. We have to finish all this fruit. Hey guys, Jesse. If today is really hot, and you guys do a really good job listening to us, we're going to get some ice cream by the pool. Ice cream. <laughs> mm. so let's let's listen, okay? Is there ice cream by the pool? Yes, there is. Next to it. Mm -hmm. In the store. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 
Why don't you bring the sharks over here? No, J Jesse, throw the sharks in this part. Hey. Jonas, Jonas. some ice cream by the pool. You want some more? <laughs> All right, this is our last meal for our vacation of uh, 2023, KOA Santa Margarita, Central California. We're eating this um, chicken that we got from the store. Apple slices, rice, seaweed, uh, seaweed crunch wrap thingies. And then our plan is we cut up all the fruit that we needed to cut up and we're consolidating, consolidating everything we brought food wise into one ice chest which means hopefully more like space for the boys and Livia and then tomorrow we're we agreed that we're just gonna have fruit in the morning because we have a lot of fruit and we have some breakfast bars yeah and then on the way up we'll just stop by somewhere like a drive through thing and then um, enjoy the ride up there so Daddy thanks for Daddy, why you say always say welcome to the channel? Oh yeah. Uh, hope you've been enjoying today's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below if you've ever been to a KOA or KOA Santa Margarita. So we're just gonna break down this uh, tent around the picnic table because we don't need it. We're gonna clean up our stove and we're gonna pack up the tent um, and we should be good. Um, but before then, we're gonna oh. have our makeshift campfire because they said it's cleared for campfires, but because it's been so windy, we don't wanna <coughs> cause a fire. <laughs> yeah. Um, we just thought it'd be safer just to do s'mores on our stove instead. Yeah, but hopefully I the marshmallow doesn't sounded. drip. And also, I thought that sounded weird. Right, <laughs> because you, you could do it on a campfire, right? But I did try to on my water bottle. And so uh, we're gonna pack everything up out here. Hopefully, no critters but, critters will come out in the at nighttime. They will come by because they're probably like, all right, time for dinner again, or for nocturnal ones, time for breakfast, right? But then they're gonna come around. They're not gonna see anything. And I bet you they're gonna sniff around our tent. So that might be tonight's fun adventure. That's not gonna be fun. It's not fun. It was not fun last night. Oh, by the way, um, our neighbor said that it was a, a was a fox, a gray fox, by the way. So Livia was right. It was a gray fox that was trying to get into our rice, a gray fox that gnawed a hole through our trash bag Sorry, KOA, if you're watching, we we should have thrown it away. It's Kelly, please take. Yeah, and not sure what that animal was on the way to the restroom last night, but it looks like it might be a mongoose or yeah. a weasel. The tail was almost as long as the body, so I don't know. That's interesting. But it's a raccoon. Oh, I think that would be giraffe. Know. 
Raccoons have point. But we're going to uh, finish our meal and then um, I think do I some s'mores, no. pack up and take a shower and go straight to sleep. In the morning, it will be the busiest. Oh, I'm boiling the rice pot with water. But I put a lot of water in there, so. Is that our tea. new one? Yeah. Oh. Already Whoa. half gone. It went mostly in there. So let's fill up our bottles. First more. First more. Yeah. Huh? Hold it. Ow. Hold it and eat it. Careful, it's hot. Is it hot? No? So we are toasting marshmallows without the fireplace because it's really windy and we don't want the embers to fly all over. And we're doing it over our brand new stove. We're risking all of our $50 that we spent at Costco when it was on sale. Then, I'm just gonna put it on this. Daddy, I ate the marshmallow. Take a bite, Jonas. My first, my second marshmallow. S'more. Take a bite. They're called s'mores, Jonas. Take a bite all together with the graham crackers and marshmallow and chocolate. There you go. Jesse, take a bite with all three. Graham cracker, chocolate, and marshmallow at the same time. Mm. Mm. Stuff like that, but we just a lot of stuff. All right, we are finishing up our last night here with some s'more. It's nighttime, but it's summer, of course, so it's like I think it's like almost seven. Victory s'more for this year's vacation. And we're having fun. <laughs> yes, right. Mm. Good call, mommy. Better than cooking it on like. Embers flying into the marshmallow and well, I mean, stick it smell. Have the taste. Fire taste to it, but it's okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, after this, we are going to break down everything out here, and then we'll take a shower and we'll call it a night. Thanks for joining us. Um, hopefully, there's some interesting stuff that happens tonight, but nothing too dangerous. And then tomorrow we'll be headed home in the morning after we do a three hour pack. So. I don't think it'll be too easy with that. All right. Catch you guys later in the tent. Maybe. All right. So we are. What time is it? Like eight. eight. eight Jesse knocked out cold. 8.30. He, he was so bad in the pool he was just crying about everything i knew he didn't eat or he, just, he didn't sleep in any at all look at what's outside so that gray fox has nothing to look at plus there's other campers now so they probably have better stuff than we do um we're cleaning up so that in the morning there isn't too much as much to pack and we can put most of our energy into the bigger stuff rather than all these small things so that's what that's what we're doing now um it was a pretty cool camp vacation this year except the gnats biting yeah but hold on. but it's another memorable one because you know when when you have like crazy stuff happen that's what makes it fun so definitely crazy stuff happened this year uh, <laughs> the little critters around here that's so funny um we're gonna just finish cleaning up everything all of our stuff is in here all of our food um we have some fruit in this one like apples and oranges and pears but then everything else is here, and we're just gonna do it. Let me help you, Jonah. No, I the adventure that you showed us last time. Last time, about the little critter when you're on your way to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Stars are coming out, but you barely see them. Because they're shooting yeah, at night. Alright, it's our last morning here, and we're being greeted by some deer. No, not the door, Jonas. Zip the door open. Zip the door. Zip the door shut, if you... Okay. This window. Unzip this window. Oh, you missed it. Did you see it? I saw deer. All right. Zip the window back, or it's going to be cold in there. All right, so this is going to be the busiest thing ever. I'm going to start putting the roof bag on. And then start putting stuff up top. And then I'm going to feed the boys some fruit. And then start going. So we're breaking down. Olivia's not going to feel good for a while. We found the critter that was under us looks like there was a lizard trying to gnaw through our tent and that's what it was oh sorry the worst part is wiping it up because Livia doesn't want to do it I have to do it no I have to do it and what I hate the most is touching animals I love animals, I don't like touching them, especially if it's dead. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. First, let's wipe off the guts off the bottom of the tent. It's a lizard. Definitely not a bird. Oh, guts. Bird? It's a bug. The thorax. It was a bug. Don't feel bad. It was like a grasshopper. <gasps> I know. Look, I'm doing that. What do you mean, ugh? I can't stand bugs. I can't stand dead. <laughs> I don't even want to look at it. Wipe, please. Get a wipe. Wipe this area down. I'm going to throw it away in the trash. Way to F over there. Is that trash bag? Uh -huh. Adventure. This is a no. We'll never forget this camping trip. Oh my gosh. All right, that was it. Uh, just packed up the tent. Took a while, but definitely did it before the sun came down. And Livia is coming down here. She's staying back there. And then we're gonna hit the bathroom real quick and then get going. Thanks for joining us. Um, comment below if you've ever been to here. And where you think we should go next for our summer vacation. Subscribe, like. Thanks a lot. See you see you next time. Alright, we're on our way out. About to check out. Where's the front office of the KOA? We're gonna go that way. <laughs> it's fun here. I have a laundry room right there. And you know what? Either way. All right, so we're finishing up our trip here. We're driving away. I'm gonna let this car pass because I do not want to be tailgating and speeding up the whole time just because of you, dude. Just go around me. Gosh, people just need to hurry. Anyways, uh, that was our awesome time here at Santa Margarita KOA. We're stuffed, but Olivia has leg space finally, and the boys have leg space. That's how much food we brought. Um, it was a lot of fun things happened this, this camping trip. A lot of different things that we could tell each other stories about for forever stories that we could share with our kids and our grandkids and it's awesome 
Uh, we're gonna go back to regular life. Boo hoo. Got a few things in store and um, to update everyone with, but thanks for joining us. Hope you all had a good time uh, joining us on our camping trip this year. We're gonna head up the coast. We've never been up the coast. Well, I don't know if it's the coast, but um, yeah. And I don't know what else to say. Um, subscribe if you did. like our chat like the video like the video comment down below where you would like to go next or where you would like us to go next or maybe check out and um subscribe have a good one bye say bye everyone <laughs>